This week on the Private Money Minute, we're gonna be talking about different corporate forms for your company, and we're gonna do it right now. So there's many different corporate forms you can take in the United States to form your company. And some of the most popular forms are limited liability companies, limited partnerships, and corporations. Now I'm gonna tell you straight out, if you're privately held, real estate company, you're going to choose a limited liability company or a limited partnership. More often than not, for a variety of reasons, you're going to choose a limited liability company. And you can form a limited liability company in all 50 states. The reason why you want to choose a limited liability company is because you get the protection and asset protection of a corporation, but you have the flexibility of a partnership. So that's why we love limited liability companies. On the other side, if you're not a real estate related company or perhaps you want to go public, you might want to consider a corporation. And then you often hear the terms S-Corp and C-Corp thrown around. Well, S-Corps and C-Corps aren't necessarily corporate forms, but more like tax designations. S-Corps have pass-through taxation and only allow up to 75 shareholders and one class of stock, whereas C-Corps have double taxation, taxation at the corporate level and taxation at the investor level, but allow multiple classes of securities and also allow more than 75 investors. Also, C-Corps are the ones that are publicly traded. I'm Jillian Sidoti and this has been the Private Money Minute.